Morning, everybody. Nice cast. old crap beat out of me this morning. Uh, I got up late again. I got up at 6.30. I got out here by, by the time I get out here and I didn't come far, I took four or five over the bow and I, I shut it down uh, right in front of the park, uh, right in front of the Night of Shores boat ramp. Uh, big east wind howling here on the west end, which usually means a good bite. I just haven't had time to go look around for him. I, I'm making one drift right down the pipe heading back towards the bridge. Um, the water is dirty. It cooled off almost three degrees last night. And it's full of debris. I'm marking, I've marked two big schools of perch, no takers. I, I haven't been perch fishing. Um, I've thrown blades and I've thrown swim baits. Swim baits are a little tough right now because there's so much debris in the water. So I try, I'm try. i trying to run a blade through here to see if I can get something going. Uh, I've seen a decent screen, but I, you know, I, don't, I don't know how much this weather's affecting it. I mean, listen, there's fish biting somewhere every day. It doesn't matter where you are or what's going on. So I don't know how everybody's doing on the rest of the lake, if they've been out. Um, but it's not it's not produced for me, and I don't have much time because it's almost time to leave. I've been fishing for about 40 minutes. Right now, for me, the fishing's about as good as the Yankees are playing. Um, watched every pitch last night, and I was, you know, like everybody else, disappointed. This this whole team, it's not just Judge. This whole team reminds me of Alex Rodriguez. A-Rod was a great regular season player, really one of the best. But boy, he did not have it in the in the playoffs. He had a couple big moments spattered throughout his career with other teams and the Yankees, but he was never clutch postseason guy like like the core four or five, you know, for all those years with the Yankees. And you know, Judge is falling into that role. It's just it's sad to see it happen, and I think it's really pervaded the whole rest of the team, but that being said, every big name on that roster in the top of the lineup, and the whole bottom of the lineup, um, nobody's hitting the ball consistently whatsoever this whole series. I find it hard to believe that, that these... pictures for the Dodgers are that good. I haven't seen it. What I will say about the Yankees pitching and the Dodgers hitting is the Dodgers aren't swinging and missing now. They're playing with a lead. You know, last night they had a lead in the first inning, you know, top of the first, and, and they never relinquished it. Uh, we had multiple, multiple opportunities up and down the line with runners in scoring position that, that play at home by Stanton didn't even look like he was running hard. So if that's the case and he has he has no wheels, then that third base coach has got to stop it. I mean, there were two outs. You just had two hits in a row. It was the first time in the whole World Series we had two hits in a row. And you let a guy that, that can't get around very well go through third base on a shallow shot to left field. It's not like he was back at the warning track. It was halfway into left field. So stop him there. Don't try and score. I mean, he was he was out by three feet. So, I don't know. It, 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 listen, I'm always hopeful. That's just who I am. I, I 
I believe we can come back and win four in a row. It's certainly not outside the realm of possibility. It's the World Series, and this is the second best team in the in the whole game of baseball. So yes, I do believe that they can do it. Um, as of last night, I saw no signs of life in them that they were going to do it whatsoever. You know, hit we uh, Verdugo or, or whoever hits that hits that late home run in the bottom of the ninth, and it cuts the score in half, and we promptly come up and ground out or foul out the very next batter, and that's the game. You know, back to the top of the lineup, thinking we had a chance. No chance. So, we'll see. Baseball season either ends tonight or it keeps going for another day. Sports uh, now, the good thing I don't bet. Since last Thursday night with the SU game. Hope springs eternal. With every cast, with every game, with every at bat, hope springs eternal. Because I don't want to be a pessimist about everything. I don't want to be a pessimist about our country, about our, about anything. I just don't. It, it just, I don't want to live that way. Um, not to say that I can't be pessimistic sometimes, but I don't want to be a pessimist. It takes too much out of me, and I don't want to feel like everything sucks. And, because then, then you start believing it, and then it starts happening in your own life, and I don't want that. So, it brings it to I don't care what it is. Whatever. Call me whatever you want. Yeah. It's 8 o'clock. Just don't call me late for work. All right, everybody. Have a great day. Thanks for joining me. You know, I was thinking a minute ago, uh, after a summer where I was kind of in and out with content, I've been, I've been out every single morning this month, and we're going to finish it off, and we're going to go strong into the, into the later fall months. And it doesn't seem like any sign of cold, changing weather in the future. So keep riding this out together every day. If you're not able to get out and fish, then, then hopefully I give you a little bit of joy every day. And you get to see the water and, and see what's going on. And the days will come where I'll have a ton of stuff to tell you and show you. And then some days we have it like this where don't have a lot of time and you got a lot of things going and, and uh, you know, at least I still got out here and made a few casts. Alright everybody, thank you so much. We will see you on the day. Keep your tip up.